What's up everybody? I'm back with another story video and today uh, I want, I've done a couple of videos in the past talking about fun on the water and how it almost turned tragic. Uh, one time like drowned in the lake, one time another time with the, the tubing on the river. Those are their own two separate videos. If you want to go check those out. Uh, they're up in the, uh, you can check the stories playlist uh, and they're in there. Today, though, I wanted to talk about more on fun on the water uh, experiences that were pretty crazy. Not necessarily deadly, but, or almost deadly because I'm still alive, but, you know, crazy <clears throat> enough that they, I think they deserve to be in their own video. They don't deserve to have their own video each story, though, so I decided to compile them into one video um, and uh, do it that way. Uh, because, you know, I, th I hope this goes up in mid-April <laughs> so that it's, you know, more s summertime's coming up, that kind of thing thought we'd do it uh, that way but we'll see it, it could really fit for any time of the year um so these really involve there's like four or five stories on here and they really involve like jet skiing and tubing across different lakes across the state of michigan um over the years uh lots of different time frames this happened so uh stay tuned because a lot of good, good stuff so four or five stories first one uh, I almost forgot about this when I was thinking about doing this video. I almost forgot to add this story to my list. Um, but it was when I was about six, I believe. And we were up in my one of my aunt and uncle's houses. <clears throat> they live on a small lake. When I mean small. Like it, I don't even think it has a name. That's how small it is. But it is a lake. It's, it's big enough to be a lake, though. Um, and <clears throat> so, but they, they have a jet ski. And so we were there on a summer day, and I uh, decided to go out with a fa another family member and ride on the jet ski. And, you know, it's a small lake, so I'm, it was like one of my first times ever on a jet ski, but it was, you know, it was fun. Until, until we were out in the middle of the lake, and we ran out of gas. I don't know how it wasn't calculated that we were almost out of gas. I, I don't know if jet skis have, like, a low fuel detection thing in them or not this was i think 2009 so i don't know if it was back then either it was almost 14 years ago now it's insane to think about it that's the thing i think about it but uh so when the thing the thing ran out of gas and it came to a stop and we were just stuck in the middle of the lake floating with a jet ski that was out of gas um quite honestly i wasn't as worried as i probably should have been because you know again the lake is tiny um the layout of the lake is basically one side you start on the ones the where the house is is it's, there's like a main area that's pretty good for like jet skiing and boating and and swimming and that kind of thing and then off to the, the right is a very narrow section of the water with like some some vegetation stuff um and like a lot of houses are on that end and back on the back there's like a dock for stuff and then there's like the highway so there's not a lot of houses back there and then to the left you go down there's a little narrow area where some houses are and then you get into a little like more basin area that's you know more vegetation it's good for fishing and stuff too um so that's good but we were in like the main water area so i could we could see the house and i wasn't too worried um we could have probably even swam back it would have been it would have been a good swim but the water wasn't too rough so uh, we we could have done it. We had life jackets and stuff, but we decided we. I mean, people caught on pretty quickly what had happened, and we. Um, I think we flagged them down. And I honestly don't remember how we got back to shore. I'm I was like dead because I'm, I'm alive, but and here talking about it here, but I don't know exactly how it happened. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, we might have, we probably got towed back by either like a paddle boat or another jet ski or somebody. I, I don't quite remember how we got towed back but we did and uh, filled it up with gas and whatnot but it was just pretty wild that we got stranded out there almost uh with gas if it was any bigger of a lake i think it would have been a little bit more worrisome but uh thankfully not um so here's another jet ski story though this is actually a double story from the same day so um we were we went down to we were on lake huron when this happened it's only a couple years ago um and we were we were at my, another one of my aunt and uncle's houses, or like their cottage or something, um, more on the eastern side of the state instead of more up in the center. But um, they had, uh, she, my aunt calls them wave runners. I don't know if you guys actually call them wave runners or not. Um, I don't know if there's like, I don't know if it's like a difference between wave runner and a jet ski. I always call them jet skis. I don't call them wave runners. I think this is weird. Um, 
Let me know what your pronunciation is in the comment section down below. Is it, is it jet ski or wave runner for you? And are there, is there a difference? I like to know. Is there a difference? Um, but she, um, but we got there and we planned on taking them out on the water. They lived near the water, and so that was pretty cool. And um, sadly, the weather wasn't that great for it. Uh, the weather cleared up later in the day after we were done, but uh, when we actually went out there and did it, it was uh, a little chilly. I mean, for June, it wasn't super cold. But, you know, it was cloudy, there was rain in the forecast, you know, that kind of thing. It wasn't great. Uh, but we still did it anyways, because why not? You know, what are you doing anyways? Uh, they had two of them. And so we could take, you know, two, two people could go out on time. And, you know, me and I was out there, and I think my brother was out there at the time. My, my cousin was out there doing them too, and uh, his dad was out there doing them as well, my uncle. Um, I don't remember who else was out there at the time, but literally the lake was empty. Like, where we were. There was nobody else out there. Um, except me and the, the other two, the other jet ski, the other person. That was it. That was it. Um, so I'm going around, you know, I, I'm driving the jet ski, you know, it's pretty fun. You know, I'm driving, brr, 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 that kind of thing. And I'm going around making some cool turns and stuff like that. And I really didn't think, you know, I'd fallen off of a jet ski before. But I'd never fallen off while driving one. So, and I felt pretty invincible. I'm like, okay, I'm driving this thing. I'm in control. There's no way in hell I'm going to fall off this thing, right? You know, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty safe to say I'm going to stay on this thing, uh, you know, until I, until I, until I want to come back in. Uh, well, I was pretty close to shore and I did, I basically did a whole 180 on a dime. Okay, I have never seen, I don't think, I don't think anybody can ever make a more precise and accurate turn as big as I made. Because I was going and I juked this thing, 180, on a dime. And nobody saw it happen. Nobody saw me actually fall off the jet ski. Um, because the, the abrupt turn and the speed I was going at made it so that there was a like 10 feet wall of water that just went straight up in the air and then when it came back that when the water subsided the jet ski was there without me on it and I was resurfacing a few feet away uh, but what actually had happened is the force of me falling the force of the turn and plus me being over being 240 pounds or whatever at the time um I had I stood no chance. I just went flying off the jet ski, and I just I remember I was like like this. I was like angled like this. You know, I'm just I'm flying, and then I hit the water on my side, and um, and eventually I resurface. And thankfully the jet ski didn't move anywhere, and I was able to just swim back. And I brought it. Um, and but something, but you know, I, I signaled everybody that I was okay, and. Um, Something hurt, though. And I later found out that I had bruised my ribs. And it hurt like hell. I don't know how I did this, by the way. I don't know if it was because of the fact that I hit the jet ski. Or, like, one of the handlebars. Or, like, even the side of the jet ski itself. I don't know if it's because my arm hit me so hard. I don't know if it's just because I hit the water. I had a life jacket on. I was, you know... I you know, big gut, you know, help, uh, help, uh, protect my ribs there, so I don't know how that happened, um, it's just all a little fast, but that didn't stop me, I'm like, the man I am, I got right back on that damn jet ski and kept going, uh, I wanted to keep having fun, I didn't give a damn, okay, um, so I go out, and I'm riding around, and I'm, I'm taking it a little easier this time, I'm making bigger turns, I'm not going near, not, a little, little, Close to about as fast, but not quite as fast. But I'm a lot farther out this time, um, making turns and whatnot. And um, eventually, and I didn't think it could happen again, but it did. It, it happened again. Um, I don't know exactly. I think I made a turn or I gunned it too hard. I don't quite remember. Um, but I fell off again, and I was a lot farther out, and I resurfaced. And I turn around to see where the jet ski is, and it's going. I almost shat myself. I thought this thing is going to... I thought the key was still in the uh, jet ski, and it was going to keep going all the way until it ran out of gas or hit something. And we were going to have to chase it down with the other one. I was so embarrassed. 
thankfully though the key was with me the jet ski stopped after only a little bit only a couple of seconds of doing that it stopped and it but it, and i start swimming to it you know but it's so it's actually pretty far out there so what happens the my cousin picked me up in the other jet ski brought me to the uh brought me to the jet ski and transferred me over and brought it back in i called it kaputs after that i was done um I was in pain. Uh, my arms were exhausted because, you know, I'd fallen off twice and pretty much probably dislocated a couple of bo bones or whatever the fuck. And I was uh, I was done for the day after that. And uh, that hurt. That hurt. I think I bruised my rib. I didn't crack it or break it or anything because I could still move. I could still function. Um, but it hurt. 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 Uh, it lasted a good couple of weeks um, before it fully was better. And, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> A lot so um, wild stories there but thankfully the key was still in the uh, key was with me let's talk about a time the key did not stay with me when I fell off this goes back to the first leg um, when the with the out of gas incident but a lot but I think the same year as the Lake Huron stuff happened um, we were riding the we were riding jet skis again and I was with my cousin she was driving and she's this is good amount younger than me uh, she was driving, I, ha I, but the key was attached to my life jacket, and so that way, you know, in case anything happened, I w it would stop if I fell off and, and whatnot, uh, just for safety reasons and whatnot. So we're driving, we're in the, um, off to the left, in the little swampy area, uh, she is, she is whipping this thing back and forth, like, I am holding on to the bar that you're supposed to use when can you grab to get back on the jet ski. I'm holding on to that, like leaning back like this. I'm grabbing onto her with one thing, one hand, and I'm grabbing on the other like this. And she's she's whipping this thing around, like swaying back and forth, really big waves and whatnot. We go off into this little area with the some veg the fish, good fishing area, vegetation and whatnot, and. Um, she cuts it hard. Uh, it's like with doing the thing on the 180. It didn't do a complete 180, but it was more like a 90 degree turn. And we, we both went flying. There was no chance either of us were staying on that thing. We we were flying. Um, I resurface and and she does too. I make sure she's okay real quick. But then I notice the jet ski. I can see the key in the jet ski, and I'm like, oh shit. Uh, the key. Somehow, it wasn't clipped on right to my life jacket. So, when I went flying, the thing unclipped from my life jacket was still in the jet ski. The bar was stuck at an angle. So, the jet, the like the, the handlebars were stuck at an angle. And the jet ski is just doing donuts. Like, like this. How? I don't know. Um... So, and she's freaking out, so I, I, I jump into action, you know, I'm going in there, and um, this thing's going around, it's like 20 miles an hour, it's going around in donuts like this, um, no showing no signs of stopping, um, I obviously wasn't going to let her run out of gas again, and then we'd have to swim all the way back, but... Um, she, so I had to get on this thing, I'm wrestling, I'm bear hugging this thing, trying to get on, you know. It actually, I, I surf. I got on that thing a little bit more easy than I thought I would. Uh, I kind of jumped on it like you would a motorcycle, and I yanked the key out, and uh, she gets back on. And she was freaking out. It was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, pretty, pretty intense experience. But thankfully, nobody got hurt. Uh, thankfully. Uh, the jet ski was not ruined. Uh, thankfully, no equipment got damaged. It kind of pissed me off because there was a group of people in a pontoon boat on the other side of that little area of water um, who somehow did nothing. I don't even know if they watched us have to do that. I don't know. Um, so screw you guys if you guys are watching this. I don't even know who you are. But um, thanks for not even paying attention at all to what we were doing. Uh, when it could have been possibly a lot more dangerous than it was. But it wasn't. So that was a good good thing. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's all my jet ski stories that are worth telling um, at this point in time. Um, I don't know, there's nothing really other crazy to talk about, but I do have one, I do have one good tubing story. I've been tubing quite a bit. 
we used to, my other side of the family used to get a cottage up in, uh, up north uh, for a week in the summer, and we'd go and we'd um, rent a boat, and they got some tubes, and we'd tube with the pontoon boat. Uh, so it wasn't as good as like a jet ski or like a speedboat or whatnot, but it did the trick. We had lots of fun doing it. Uh, we recently just stopped doing that because it got super expensive uh, to rent the cottage out, but... Uh, so we go tubing every there every year. Um, we t went tubing on the small lake a couple times as well, the little small tube. Um, but there's nothing really interesting to talk about from that. This is going to take place up at, um, uh, up north. Um, it was a couple of years ago, about three years ago at the time this was going up, um, that this happened. And we were on the water. And uh, this me, my brother, and three of our cousins, we... It was our last day of tubing before I had to leave because uh, I had to work because I had left it. I left a day earlier than everybody else because I had to. I was starting out. I was starting out Kroger at the time, um, and I had just gotten started like right before we left for the cottage, and so I had requested to take the whole week off, which you know you can't do. So I had to start working the day next. It's my first ever shift after my training, um, so I had to leave a little early, and so it was a really our last day of tubing together. And the last adventure, you know, they decide, you know, it was the man and uncle were out there and driving the boat. And they said, well, how about you guys uh, uh, get on the, um, how about all, all five of you get on? Big mistake. You can't really do that. Uh, it's a little too heavy and not enough room. And but we had a big couch too. And you know, it worked fine. I mean, you know, for a little fun, you know, why not? And, um. We all got on, and we were, and the waves were pretty big that day too. Can all things considered, this lake's not as small as the first lake, but it's not huge either. Um, but so we were bouncing, so it doesn't get like huge waves, but this time like pretty big waves, in fact. And we were going, and we were bouncing and stuff like that. I think I was laying in the front, and some people were in the back to try and help balance out the weight a little bit better so it wouldn't, like, sink, and we'd be able to get some more action. Um, but we were hitting these waves, and um, it was pretty clear that somebody was going to fall very fast um, because once we were getting up to speed and stuff, and we were hitting these waves, and I remember it exactly in my mind. We were cut, we, we, we surfaced over a wave, and we, it was a big wave, and we were, and there was another big wave coming behind it. We were going down into this crest, and I just, I, all I could, I just watched us descend slowly. It, it felt slow. It wasn't, you know, it was pretty fast, but it wasn't slowly. We hit the water, and the tube, and then all, apparently this is what happened because I was on the tube, obviously, so I didn't actually get to watch it happen, but. Apparently, what happened is all five of us. It like kind of felt like it was like an explosion. All five of us kind of just flew off the tube in different directions, and the two flipped over um, because of the impact. And I remember getting airborne and literally uh, belly flopping in the water. Um, everybody else is around me. We we were all shooken up. Nobody was injured, thankfully. Like seriously injured or whatever. So that was good. We were just a little shooken up. I almost barfed, I remember. And um yeah, we called it quits for the day for doing for that. Um because yeah, <laughs> for for good reason. Um it was not a good idea, but it was fun uh, in regards to to that. We never had that happen before. Like it was um, we've had lots of experiences, you know, people falling off multiple people. Um, and stuff like that. They're not really story worthy though. Um, so I guess it's not really something to, uh, for, uh, tell on video, but you know, maybe one time I'll vlog going tubing if I ever do with my friends sometime, but I don't know. It's a good, that was a good, I just wanted to tell a little the most exciting one I had. So I think that's all of them. I think that's all my good water stories that I got, uh, for right now. But, um, if, uh, you guys got any, that you guys want to tell me about let me know about it in the comment section uh down below jet skiing tubing doing anything else water related water skiing i've never been water skiing waterboarding i've never been wakeboarding either uh it'd be cool to do that one time um but let me know what are your thoughts about it in the comment section down below that's gonna do for the story video guys stay tuned for much more amazing content and other amazing stuff until next time i will see you guys later goodbye